Many of the delegates here in Cleveland have years of experience working for their state party or operations, but the newest crop of the GOP faithful is here as well. Two of the convention's youngest delegates join us for a look at the 2016 election through the eyes of millennials. 22-year-old Darren Ray Waddles and 19-year-old Ryder Haig are here with us in Cleveland. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having Thank us you. on. So how do you, let me start with you. How do you get here as a 19-year-old? So I worked really hard. I put my name in it, and I fought to make it here. And he, here is in Nevada is where? In Nevada, absolutely. Nevada. In Nevada, absolutely, stop yeah. Nevada. So anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Um, we even have bumper stickers about that. I know, I know. But, um, I keep slipping up. Go ahead. Uh, it was one of those things where I was elected at the caucus, and when I went to the state convention, I worked really hard. I had over 100 uh, stickers printed out, pass over. 150 business cards. I even took off school early so that I could show up and shake hands and meet people at the early registration. And then I also was relentless when calling Trump's, uh, yeah. some of Trump's managers. I was officially endorsed by the Trump campaign to be here, and I'm really excited. So you're, to be here. you're a Trump delegate? Yes. Pure and simple? Yes, it was. Darren, what about you? I'm an at-large at Rubio delegate. I worked real hard to get my name out there. Uh, right now I serve as the state uh, chairman of the Arkansas Federation of College Republicans. And uh, like I said, I worked real hard to get here. I campaigned uh, using social media, email, even going so far as traveling to county committees and calling all the people who needed to vote for me. And so I I'm glad to, that I got their support and they trusted me. And here I am today. Good old fashioned political campaigns, you guys. Right? Yes, yes, sir. That we worked hard. So the result was you were on the floor tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting night, a little bit of a raucous night. It was an interesting, interesting night for sure. What was it like to be there? Um, actually, realistically, for every single day that we've been here, or, or so far on my take, is that the energy here is amazing. It shows how the Republican Party is coming together and that we want to have a unified party so that we can make it to the White House. Mm -hmm. Darren, what was your impression of being out there? Being out there, it's pretty much mirroring what he said. Very, a lot of energy, positive feeling, and we're all ready to move forward and go to November and defeat Hillary Clinton. But Ryder, let's be let's be honest. There was a, a presidential candidate, a prominent one, booed on that floor tonight. So there's still some issues. There were some. However, though, the fact is, is that once that was handled and once that was done, um, we immediately moved on to better and greater things of really focusing on the presidential nominee, Donald Trump, and we're happy to have him there. Yes. So it's one of those things where it, we may have hit a little hiccup, but the fact is, is now we're all back together. We're a unified party, and we're ready to go to the election. So are you an ambassador to millennials, do you think, Darren, as a, as a politically involved millennial and a politically involved Republican millennial? Is part of your job, as you see it, to go spread the word? Well, that's basically what I do uh, as state chairman. And uh, out of my delegation, I am known as the millennial delegate. <laughs> so, so millennials mystify some of us. Um, are they interested in politics, or are they, oh, yeah, yeah. are they cynical about politics? Well, everyone has some cynicism, but uh, no, sir. They they are enjoying this political season. They are. I, I think this is by far the uh, most active millennials have ever been in our political uh, cycles, and uh, we can see that as a testament. In Arkansas, we have about 12 people who would qualify as millennials, and that is the most we've seen in a long time. So, Ryder, you're you're a Trump delegate. Mm -hmm. it, anything about Donald Trump that bothers you that you'd like to see changed? Actually, it's really not more of what bothers me or anything like that. Actually, when I was at my caucus, I wasn't really, I didn't support him at first. I supported Marco Rubio. He appealed to younger voters. Mm -hmm. The fact is, though, is that I was elected by my precinct and I represent the people of that district. Mm -hmm. So the right thing to do was to rally for the person who they voted for, and that was Donald Trump. Yeah. So one of the things that I do like about Donald Trump is that his determination, his determination to win the presidency for this country, he truly does want to make America. Make America great again. So you, you, you are a Rubio delegate. Can you get behind Donald Trump? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what we did. Rubio uh, released us. And as a caucus from Arkansas, we decided the best thing to do is to move forward. And being a uh, delegate from the state of Arkansas, we've had to deal with the Clintons 40 years, over 40 years. And we can gladly say, We'll support Donald J. Trump. Well, you haven't dealt with him for 40 years because well, that started about 20 years before you were born. So, <laughs> fair enough. But, but I've heard a lot about him. <laughs> I doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. Um, highlight of the week for you? 
The highlight of the week for me is really when we had the ability to finally nominate Mr. Trump. But then again, I think that's going to be the highlight of the week for anyone. Yeah. I mean, just the amount of energy in the room and the confidence, it was fantastic. It's one of those things where words cannot describe how cool it was to be there. Yeah, yeah. Can you, do you think that politicians are connecting with millennials? Right now, yes, sir. Uh, we have seen the uh, social media tide come through. Uh, they are connecting better and if not networking better with us than ever before. And the message is getting through. And the, and the message is getting through. We have seen this through the tides of uh, Ted Cruz. We've seen this through the tides of Donald J. Trump. We've seen this uh, even in the Bernie Sanders campaign. Well, guys, thanks for joining us tonight. I hope hey, you enjoy the rest of the week. It's really a pleasure to meet you both.